Okay, Seiko, amplitude that is lower than, you know, like equivalent Swiss watches. Seiko, as we talk about amplitude and I talk about amplitude, and with Seiko's, the, I've, I've always seen this to be true. Seiko's simply don't run at what a, a Swiss watch would, would be considered acceptable, amplitude of like 270 or something like that. Seiko's always run lower. They always do. This is a this is a sixty one oh five movement here. This belongs to a sixty one oh five eight thousand that was bought by the current owner when he was in the service over in Vietnam. Uh, this watch has been serviced once before. It saw some moisture intrusion. Uh, I I went through everything and it you know. It looked good and I just was not getting decent amplitude. I, in fact. I, it's, I, I find that with the 6105s, they often give lower numbers than, say, a 6106 or a 6119. My theory on that being that uh, they were in a dive watch and they got more exposure to moisture and it would have had a degradatory effect, deleterious effect on the, you know, on the, all the surfaces at a, at a micro level which would affect amplitude. That's just a theory, though. But I could test that theory. Look at this 6105 dress watch. In fantastic condition. You don't see these too often anymore. So to test my theory, I, I would have to service this and see if I get higher amplitude. But anyway, really frustrated with this. I went through this movement. I went through this movement backwards and forwards. Uh, I, I was able to improve it. It had a fourth wheel was worn, uh, I, and I put in an NOS uh, escape wheel. Still, just not getting, not getting the numbers that I'm looking for. Not getting the numbers I think I should get, based on how this thing is behaving. They're clean numbers. They were fine, uh, but. Um, you know, they were just low amplitude. The watch would have been a great timekeeper. It's just frustrating to me. And so I had, all of a sudden, I had a, a, a blast of inspiration. And I thought of something I've never thought of doing before. Never. Instead of using a 6105 barrel in mainspring, what if I used a high power 6159? So this high power super strength mainspring that's in here is for pushing a high beat movement um ba uh, the highest of, of the 6000 series they're identical um externally the barrels are exactly the same you can drop one in and replace it with the other it's literally never occurred to me to do it before anyway look at the numbers on this thing look at the numbers And I mean, the one thing that would have been a problem for having a beefed up mainspring in this would be the fact that the arbors weren't jeweled because in the 6159, they are jeweled, but these are jeweled, which means this thing can take uh, a 6159 mainspring. I might suggest that the, the bushings get jeweled, but I mean, that's, we're starting to get crazy there, but it could be done. So here's the homework. We've got to find a source of mainsprings that'll drop in to a standard Seiko barrel that are a little thicker. Because if we consult our Chicago master watchsmith, watchmakers thing, what do we got? What are we doing? Darn it. Hang on. Okay. Because here's your question. What is the effect of putting in a watch that is a mainspring in a watch that is too thick? It will exert an excess of power. And they we, that's what we want. We want more power. So this is our homework. Is it possible? Is it possible that the whole Seiko's run low, Seiko's always have low amplitude, is because they have underpowered mainsprings? I've never, I mean, Seiko's direction on this stuff is that the mainsprings are unbreakable 
and that they can be cleaned and reused. It's, and there really aren't, I mean, but this would mean that even the, the, the NOS ones are going to be underpowered. So we need, we need a beefier mainspring. That's what we need. And if we had a beefier mainspring, we could start getting hotter numbers. Because higher amplitude means that it's going to hold to a regulation better. It's going to be more stable. 6105s never run like this for me. They, they don't. I don't know. I think it's... I feel like I'm using a cheat code. But at the same time, I've, has anyone done that? Because I tell you, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the results. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching my video.